Hey guys, it's Rena Wells. Welcome to another video on The Medicine Woman and Highly Intuitive and a very clear channel. Um, I'm here to do a reading for the Divine Masculines today. I'm just making sure this is working. Um, everything went really smoothly with the setup. I've cleared the space. I've created a new grid work for today as, as Spirit has directed me. We're going to start right away with the dark energies and where masculine energy currently is at. I've been feeling a lot of mental energy and spirit is bringing through. Now, before I start, please make sure you subscribe. Please make sure you hit the notification bell. A little housekeeping. I, you know, I like to just jump right in and the business side is just because, you know, I'm here on mission. So it's kind of, oh yeah, I have to do this. So please uh, do that. It really helps my channel to grow. And uh, if you want to work with me, um, my iOS Getter Shaman that I work with, uh, we are running a retreat in February and all my info is down below. So let's get started. Let's take a look at this. I'm just pulling out the cards now. Um, yeah, so Spirit is really bringing forward that we need to take a look at some of the shadow work uh, in regards to what is happening because I woke up the other day, like just massive. I can't even remember my dreams, you guys. It's such mental energy and spirit is bringing through that masculine energy is really this high genius intelligence okay it's a high genius intelligence that is very rare on the planet and so i'm really getting pulled here in helping men really masculine not just men but because women can definitely hold masculine energy but um because it's not a gender thing it's an energy thing um so please know like when i say he and she it's very much just my conditioning and how I channel and how spirit uses my brain now. Um, but yeah, let's take a look. We're going to take a look at what is going on with masculine energy, the dark energies that are happening. We're going to take an uh, overall energy read first. And um, yeah, let's get started. So let's see what is going on with masculine energy spirit. Thank you. Please bring through. What is so yeah, this is what I'm feeling. The genius energy is is entering the masculine domain now. Around the frequencies, frequent bleh, sorry, the guys when I channel frequency levels, it's all around them. This reading is gonna be very different than other twin flame readings that you're gonna see because I feel like I've also expanded in um my purity in my channel as well, since I'm actually on mission and like actually now working with um the shaman that ayahuasca told me to train with. And Spirit wants to bring that up too, that um, these masculines that are waking up, it's a, it's a slow unraveling process for some of you, okay? We're going to get uh, four cards. Where is the masculine energy in the mind space, Spirit? Okay, we have Helio, cycles, looking at the cycles in life that are happening right now, okay? Where is the masculine energy in the heart space? We're going to see where he's where masculine is balancing with the feminine as well. We have Typhon, which is anger. Wow, a lot of anger. So this is repressed anger from childhood is what I'm getting about uh, feeling gypped, feeling, you know, why did just things have to happen this way? Karmic cycles that are ending. Why did I have to go through this? So a lot of deep anger that's happening could also be towards feminine energy is what I'm getting because a lot of these feminines that are stepping up and they're calling, it's almost like these cycles and the darker forces want, uh, the karmic energies want to blame the feminine energy and want to, you know, like they're doing this and this and this, but um, that's also how darker energies infiltrate through the masculine's intelligence, okay? They're being siphoned. So we're gonna see what's happening with the actions with masculine. We've got two cards. We have raw, power, wow, and flow. So Poseidon. So this is beautiful because this is the balance between water and sun, okay? So this is amazing. Um, let's take a look at the outcome of Divine Masculines right now. No, this one wants to come out, so we're going to take it. Thor, action. Look at that. Whee! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So... <laughs> Um, I've been channeling light language too lately, guys. It's, and my light language is not this nice singing. It's like, it's like, this is weird. Like, <laughs> I don't even know what it is. I'm like, where is this coming from? What is happening to me? So there's definitely like a, it's a download of a higher intelligence that's happening with the masculine energy. Okay. So 
what I'm seeing here is all of these karmic cycles bring up a lot of anger for the masculines right now. They're not entirely sure what is happening. Um, some of them could be lost, but what I'm getting is they're really standing in their power. They're trying to action their power and flow with whatever is coming up in their heart. These set of masculines are recognizing that this energy is coming up for a reason, okay? So we're going to get a little deeper. So let's see in regards to the masculine in the headspace how he is that is directed towards divine feminine energy right now okay let's take a look here guys how is this directed towards feminine energy in the mind thank you justice so the cycles and justice towards divine feminine what is karma right this is so beautiful matt justice this is helios right the cycles the karmic cycles riding this dark horse but also leaving the darkness behind and using the darkness to elevate and that's really what we have to do you guys we have to use the darkness to elevate us to point us in the right direction this is what this mask these masculines are doing we have a lot of karmic justice that's happening right now and recognizing the justice towards the divine feminine the divine feminines are also claiming the justice um but this is what they're seeking towards their um feminine energy is this justice okay so let's take a look at the heart space this anger where is this anger and how are they seeing that towards divine feminine energy spirit this anger wow their self-esteem wow okay so these masculines are really feeling here that they're angry that they didn't have the confidence uh that they were fearful of this connection of their feminine and it created a lot of self-esteem issues okay um, a lot of these masculines don't think highly of themselves. Um, and they haven't been listening to themselves, but these masculines are so powerful. And they're starting to stop in, st stop, <laughs> step into this because this anger is showing them where they have been denying themselves in their self-esteem, feeling that love of the feminine energy deep within them, okay? We have here two cards in the action-oriented space for the masculine energy we have Ra, which is you know egyptian very sun god right the sun the illumination uh this is an eagle head Aguila. Aguila. sorry song just came to me it's a medicine song i'll link it down below but it's a beautiful song it's about the eagle about the masculine energy flying near the sun that they can get the closest to the sun to the illumination okay we have poseidon but also trying to balance that with the emotions of the masculine right tapping into the feminine energy but yet knowing like masculines have feelings too right and honoring those feelings of the masculine side of feeling this power i feel like these masculines are coming into a place of deep acceptance where in the feminine wow having a deep compassion for the feminine oh this is beautiful holding that so they're pulling this energy of compassion into their power flowing with the water oh my god this is so beautiful recognizing the cycles recognizing uh their feminine here in their self-esteem that they were angry that they didn't recognize this or they didn't feel this that it's um it's a confidence issue is really what I'm getting, you know, it's like they didn't, they're angry that they didn't, that they had a, thank you spirit, a false sense of confidence, you know, because that's, it's so hard for masculines on this planet because, you know, the false sense of confidence is like we tell them, and I see that with my son, he's already getting pulled into what a man is because he doesn't have that role model in his life unfortunately, um, that, you know, he's already getting into this distorted masculine energy. It doesn't matter what I do, you know what I mean? Because uh, you always look to the same sex parent for, or I shouldn't say same sex, same energy parent, um, because my daughter, uh, you know, she's another one, but she's definitely a feminine energy who, and we click like girls do, you know? Um, but it's like, um, these masculines don't have that, you know, and it's very difficult for them and they're getting angry in regards to this. We're going to get deeper into that. But here, this Kuan Yin that's come in, this is beautiful. Kuan Yin is all about love and compassion. She's a beautiful goddess. Uh, and um, she's bringing in a lot of deep compassion here and it's pushing the masculine to balance uh, that power it's coming in now and this is why I've been feeling like oh my god you guys I'm up at five in the morning every day it is driving me insane <laughs> um, just a lot of masculine intelligent like do -do 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 like that's what my head feels like like when I wake up in the morning and I don't even know where this language is coming from but it's like a download of things 
And um, I'm like, what is, what is this? <laughs> and so there's something happening with the masculine collective. I'm really feeling it deeply. We have here Thor. Uh, how are they balancing this out? This is the outcome that the masculines are looking at and trusting themselves. They're trusting the feminine energy on the inside. So this is important messages for the divine feminines that are out there. If you're not trusting your connection, you're not trusting yourself. And I've had issues with this too, you know, because I'm like back and forth, back and forth. I've been with other people, you know, since we've been in separation and all of this. Um, but those, the universe will send you all kinds of different people to get you refocused if this is what you really want. You know, I can only say it's only been in the last two months that I've really solidified that and said, yeah, I want all of me. What am I doing? It doesn't matter who, whatever, uh, as long as I'm feeling that connection on the inside, that self-trust. Feminines have to feel this self-trust. So the, it guides the masculine's home. They get on this horse, right? Um, and they move and they action and they move their way home. So if masculines are not feeling their feminine on the inside of a mistrust, they are not going to go towards that energy, okay? Um, so feminines here are really at being asked to gain that self-trust. These masculines, because they're feeling this trust in the feminines, they are now ready to action. <sighs> All right, let's go in a little deeper, you guys. Let's take a look. Um, I'm also going to be doing a reading for Jupiter and Saturn that's coming out. This is probably going to be out tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. We're going to go a little deeper into this anger, okay? Because these other cards seem pretty good. Um, where the masculine is at, but his heart space is still has some anger stuff that's going on. And anger is an umbrella emotion. Anger is always something deeper that's within, and it has to do with their self esteem and how they're feeling of things, you know. And um, yeah, and so this is about divine feminines. Also, spirit is bringing through how you feel about yourself, you know. Um, and I'm gonna, I'll bring up my story. Like I, I'm a chunky girl, you know. I, I have had weight issues since I became in this incarnation. I didn't even like double my birth weight after a year. Um, I, I, the energy has been so dense. And so with all the abuse and everything that I've gone through, my body is very much a battlefield. And um, the karmic that my, my partner's, oh, she's freaking gorgeous. She can model, so beautiful and a beautiful spirit too. Um, what's happened here is like, I had massive self-esteem issues, but it came from a past life, it was not in this life. <laughs> Uh, these uh, spirits bringing this up because the feminine energy that's coming in that's also balancing with the masculine is the physical vessel. What is beauty? The, and it's not just loving our body. It's also things from past lives spirit is bringing up, these cycles that are coming up. Because uh, twins are here breaking um, and healing not just this lifetime, but eons of cycles, okay? Because I've been shown, uh, twin like when our twins, the calling for me my twin was ayahuasca eons ago it never happened and we have been playing this cycle for thousands of years thousands of years so a lot of twins that are coming into union or are very close at you know getting into mission and feeling the union within this is not just this lifetime you guys and i know a lot of you guys know that but it's bringing up a fire in the masculine about these self-esteem issues about what beauty is on the planet what is actual um you know, uh, sexuality and sensuality. And this is what I'm getting that masculines have been really uh, distorted and all of that based on what our system says, you know, so we're going to take a look at the shadow of that spirit. What is this about the ang Look at this just popped up. We're going to take it. Okay, we have bride in a cage, guilt, regret, and holding peace among the thorns. And this is in the heart space that the masculine is like feeling you know, being caged a lot in life and being very angry about being caged and that it's caused a lot of regret in life, okay? And recognizing in order to balance, see how these moon cycles here are like not in full, uh, um, in, in full, in full uh, illumination. This is the balance that's happening here, right? This is peaceful among the thorns, peaceful in the darkness, peaceful in whatever comes at the masculine. So they're learning how to temper this with their self-esteem. I'm going to pull one more just for the self-esteem card. <laughs> and the downcast the pride, okay? So a lot of masculines have had to learn um, that this ego, it's dark of what their self-esteem, you know? 
who they are as a man, you know? Um, and I say man, it's not man, okay, it could be feminine, but who they are in their masculine energy of holding that strong self-esteem and, and, and downcasting that pride here. Okay, taking it down. This caused a lot of regret in the masculine's life. Let's clarify with some tarot, guys. I'm really feeling it's the heart chakra. We're going to get into a little deeper. We're going to go into some tarot in regards to towards the karmic energy as well. And then towards the divine feminine. And then tomorrow I'm definitely going to do the Saturn. Um, this is just a check-in, but I was told to do one just for the masculine energies today because oh my god it's been like every day for the last three days i'm just waking up at five in the morning it's it's like oh seriously <laughs> like what is happening what is going on this is a new energy i don't know <laughs> all right let's take a look here um yeah and it doesn't mean like and, and spirit is saying these are just new activations that are coming coming about what's happening in the heart space here we have um three of pentacles the contract okay working together opening up the heart space okay letting go look at this financial commitment uh, building something solid okay two of swords there but <clears throat> we're gonna clarify what is this heart space here this regret being trapped self-esteem issues that the masculine's having spirit yeah because they haven't been able to be in their creator force energy look at this they have been stifled in their creator force energy of what god thank you this is what i'm getting from these masculines they have been cut off from pure creative force energy. And yes, that is an anger thing because I'm, and, and, I, and if you guys didn't listen to the channel that I did yesterday, please go back and listen to that. It's about narcissism and, and empaths because it's a lot about the, a lot of Christ consciousness came through a lot about masculine energy, a lot about the father God energy. And what's happening here is these masculines, I would be pissed too. You know, we are in the mother, we can connect to the earth, we can feel feminine energy, okay? It's a lot easier, much more tangible. A lot of these masculines are not feeling this, right? And this is where the anger is coming from because our entire system has been built out of a distorted masculine energy and cutting off their sensitivity, cutting off their intuition, cutting off their gifts and cutting off the father God energy, their manifesting capabilities. So that when they play, when these masculines elevate to a certain place of consciousness, what's happening is they can't manifest anymore, even if they're with a soulmate karmic partner, even if that you know, would have been okay in another lifetime, you know. Um, but when union and when you're meant to be on mission work and that starts to come forward, it won't manifest. And so they're really angry that their self-esteem was so completely distorted by this world that it is keeping them from their truest essence of who they are as a co-creator on the in the 3D world. Wow. Look at this. Karmic energy right there. And why things weren't manifesting with the karmic energy. Like I just said that, you know. So validation right there. Contract came out again, right? This contract, working on this. Con Look at this. The same cards popped. Out. I can't make that up, guys. Just shuffled and that's what happened, right? So this is, you know, the same cards. How is that, how is that possible? You tell me, right? So God is speaking very strongly here. Opening up, letting go of this, realizing that they have a contract. And this contract is spirit, I believe, is with the Divine Feminine. Let's take a look at that contract. <laughs> Where they've been dishonest. They've been trying to lie them way, their way out of it, okay? They've been deceived. No, that's spirit saying they've been deceived by all of whatever is happening in the world, okay? They're having massive regrets and want to apologize towards Divine Feminine. They're not actioning right now because they're still working through this anger. This deception is not, it, it thank you. The way that the masculines have had to learn in this world, they didn't haven't had any examples. So what they've had to learn is based on the deception. And so of course they deceived towards Divine Feminine. Of course they did that. Of course they did that. They don't know, right? And so Spirit is saying it's caused a lot of regret a lot of anguish they know they have a contract here clarify the seven of swords here look at this towards the divine feminine the darker forces that are look at this manipulating the masculine energy away from the divine feminine energy can't make that up empress right there all right wow Wow, 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 wow. Spirit also wants me to take a moon card on this. So let's take a look. They're saying this is a moon cycle. This is clearing right now, Spirit is saying. Okay, so this heart chakra is in deep healing right now, which is why I changed up my grid work. I put Ganesh here with my with the twin flame behind 
uh, protecting all of this to clear obstacles. So let's see what is going on here. What is clearing? Spirit is saying this is, look at this. A fiery climax approaches, you guys. Wow. Masculine energy really looking at making, being bold to make the first move. You and your loved ones are safe. They're really protecting the people closest to them, family, children, parents, uh, whatever, whoever is close to them in their family and who they care about. A fiery climax approaches. Okay, full moon in Aries. We have new moon in Cancer. You are and you and your loved ones are safe, taking care of the home life and being bold and taking the first move. Move. Sorry, making the first move is the cardinal moon. I need a sip of water. Wow, beautiful. All right. I was going to do an extension, guys, but I, I'm just myself trying to balance my own energies. Um, it's not easy when you're super sensitive, let me tell you. Okay. I'm sure you guys all can understand that. But yeah, let's get a little deeper. I'm going to put this away. Spirit wants me to pull out the Star Seed Tarot with these life ones that we're going to do and we're going to still use my shaman deck to clarify so we're going to pull some earth cards as well yeah we're going to ground the higher realms with the earth cards thank you spirit we're going to first do towards karmic energy and i feel i need these dark ones still first because there's still some dark energy all right let's make sure this is recording Still, yes, we're doing amazing. All right, so let's take a look at what is happening in the higher realms for the divine masculine towards the karmic energies. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. What is going on with the higher realms, Spirit? What is downloading into the masculines right now towards the karmic energies? What? How are they being guided by their starseed family? Sorry guys, I do deal with a lot of star seeds. I am a star seed. And um, I don't think twin flames are anything but star seeds. That's my honest opinion. But I mean, you can take it for a grain of salt if you want. Um, yeah, I, I, I believe that we're here. Not that other frequencies can't be twin flames, but I feel like the opening of the portal is happening from the ones that are uh, from a different frequency. So... Let's take a look at the higher realms here, Spirit. This is for Divine Masculine. Where are they being guided? Thank you. They are being called, guys. First one that flipped out, okay? Being called. Soul gifts and training. Look at this. It's time to step up your game, Divine Masculine. Time to train. Time to train. Let's see. What else going on in the heart space for Divine Masculines? Thank you. We have the Courageous Peony. Multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. Beautiful. Having that courageous heart that's happening for Divine Masculines. Actioning towards karmic energies. A little too many spirit. Action towards karmic energies. All paths lead home, right? This karmic energy. Show the masculine which way to go. Inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. Okay? The action towards karmic energy, spirit. Okay. That's too many. I've got like four there. One, please, spirit. One or two is fine. Thank you. Earth pulsing. Pulse of the mother. Slow down. Time in nature. All right. So these masculines are being asked to connect and ground these energies into the earth plane. Okay. Which is interesting because I do have the earth plane, which is what we're going to do now. Um, so towards the karmic, they know that they're being called. Okay, uh, they're being called onto their mission to walk through this door to leave the old situations behind. Okay, we're going through a new portal here. Being courageous in the heart, recognizing that all actions and everything that's happened with these karmic situations and karmic doesn't have to be a specific person. It most likely is in twin flames. But what happens is um, can be addictions can be other a whole other kind of whatever keeps you trapped, right? Psychologically. 
and um, but to me, the heart and mind duality, right? The cycle, the, the psyche and the emotions and how that keeps playing out and taking you out of your intuition. So this is, um, you know, walking this maze to find their way. It's almost like you have to keep going in these cycles. It reminds me of that first card that came out with Helios with the cycles, right? We have earth pulsing as well. And look at this person just laying there. I love this card. It's like the mountains and mirroring the mountains, you know, but this person is laying in this bed of like roses and I hear that song by Guns N' Roses. Is it Guns N' Roses? I'm gonna lay you down in a bed of roses. I'm not singing that properly, but I'm hearing medicine music at the same time, but look that song up. I feel that that's significant. So let's take a look at how these energies are grounding masculine energy towards the karmic. Wow. There's a lot of shifting happening in the collective for these divine masculines. A lot of them are stepping up their game. They're not there. I'm seeing almost like these masks like, no, I'm not doing that. No, I'm not doing that. No, I'm not doing like they're putting their hand out and, and, and not partaking in things that don't follow their path. They, they have a clear uh, or don't match the energy of the divine feminine. OK, so this is what's happening. How is this grounding for being called for divine masculines, please, spirit? OK, they're trying to gain balance and efficiency with this, with their calling. OK, they're being called to mission. This is also justice, balancing the two with energies within themselves, the masculine and the feminine energy of being very efficient in moving towards where they're being called. OK, we have courageous peony, multifaceted, being unique, allowing themselves to be their, you know, uh, a different person, because when you're a twin, no one go understand that in the system. You know what I mean? This is a very old, ancient, sacred path. Not a lot of people can understand that. Look, they're being productive with their courageous heart. They're gaining the courage. Look at this. They're gaining the 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 comfort from the mother, right? They're gaining the support. Look at this child, you know, from the mother and from the feminine energy, because feminine's connected to the mother earth from the womb. Um, this child looks scared as hell. Um, let me just look a little closer. Uh, a little bit scared, a little bit scared. I don't know if you guys can see the face, but you know, starting to peek out and be like, okay, is this safe? Can I do this? Is, you know, I'm going to have, I'm having a courageous heart to do this now. So they're really feeling the feminine energy. So towards the karmic energy, they're being productive in walking through this new portal and balancing themselves in the mind in being efficient in feeling the feminine energy being courageous towards the feminine and dealing with this karma. We're going to pull tarot on this though, guys. Okay. We have all paths lead to home towards the karmic brilliance. Look at this. They, they recognize that this karmic partner created a, or partner or karmic situation, whatever your, your thing is, created a lot of brilliance and light. And look at this. It shined a light of where that mountain is of what they need to climb of what their true path is. And I love this because this is almost like, a waterfall and a mountain that's happening here and it's like this labyrinth and it's like I have to go up to this mountain here and look it's very similar of like shining the light on this if you guys can see the similarities in that like it's really beautiful so earth pulsing being in the mother being nurturing in the inside with the feminine energy okay looking at the details of their life and go, life and going through massive transformation okay Context is detailed, very masculine energy, but being like this inner child and looking at the details of everything, analyzing anything. So I feel like they're still pulled back in their energy, but they're analyzing a lot of things. They're looking at the context of how everything has played out with this karmic energy. Sorry, guys, I flipped that that way. Yeah, so let's pull some tarot. Let's clarify here. And then we'll say about masculine towards feminine. What is going on with the masculine energy toward the karmic situations, please? Divine masculines, please. Divine masculines on the planet. Agi naha. Agi agi le. Agi la. Agi le. Sorry, guys. That's one of my favorites. All right. <laughs> We're not going to. I'm going to just shuffle, but I'm going to look at the bottom right now. Look at this. Eight of Wands. Five of Pentacles, Chariot in Reverse, and the Hermit in Reverse. So they're still stuck. They're, they've been stuck. They feel abandoned in the heart from by this karmic. They're stuck. They ain't moving anywhere with this karmic because they're moving through the doorway, right? So they're stuck with the karmic energies. 
they're not actioning anything. They're not moving forward with it because they recognize the brilliance of what this what this was, and it's actually showing them how to get home. And where's home? Union mission. You know, healing the planet and humanity. And here it's like coming out of hermit mode here, looking at the details of everything um, and, and feeling the pulse of the mother to be in nature, to move slowly, to connect, okay? Connecting to the earth, okay? So, and look at this, Divine Feminine on the bottom was the next card. So let's, that was just to get an understanding. Let's see, how is masculine the mind? Masculine energy is being balanced and efficient to being called on their on their path how is this uh, affecting karmic energy or them toward masculine towards karmic energy king of wands guys they have their guard up with the masculine with the sorry masculines have their guard up uh, towards uh, the karmic energies uh putting their guard up saying um yeah no <laughs> i'm standing my ground and i'm persevering towards my calling because i'm being called okay so these masculines are very aware. They know where they need to go, okay? In the heart space right now towards the karmic energy spirit. Yeah, they're breaking down old foundations, okay? Marriages, some people could, be, could have been married, okay? Old foundations, um, coming to the finish line of things, uh, really seeing through, look at this, a lot of, you know, sad about what they've lost. Um, but this is a very interesting four of cups because this this person has died here. If you guys see, and his spirit is rising up and the shaman is saying, you know, uh, we've lost it, but we're, we're being reborn. And if there's an offering of something more that's happening here, not giving to the situation. We have six of pentacles in reverse and the five of wands. So fighting, they're fighting for themselves in their heart. They're being productive in this. They're being courageous. They're standing against karmic energies. They're breaking down old foundations and old ways of being. They're sitting in a place of, you know, still sad about what they've lost, but they're perse they're definitely persevering. Let's clarify the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? Yeah, they are definitely, look at this. They still feel the passion of the Divine Feminine and why they've been stuck with the Divine Feminine energy, okay? So they're, they're more sad about the Divine Feminine in their heart about what they've lost um, and everything that's happened with the karmic energies and where they've been stuck and they're feeling the passion to move forward. So they're not giving to this karmic cycle anymore. They're fighting for this passion with divine feminine. All right, let's see what is going on with the brilliance here in regards to all pop for lead home, baby. I'll be home for Christmas. I don't know why I'm singing that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll be home for Christmas. Um, Maybe some of you, maybe some of you will be hearing uh, at Christmas time. I don't know. Um, we have, look at this harmony, balance. Look at the brilliance of this entire situation, how it was all planned out. It's almost like, look at the details. It kind of reminds me when I'm on ayahuasca and you look up at the stars and you see the grid work. Like I see the grid work. So my vision's very clear. So I see like the grid work of like everything. And it's like so friggin' perfect. I can't even, I can't even with how perfect everything is in this world even every situation you guys are going through it is absolutely perfect and it's like every stone is placed in every single place where it's meant to be you know every pillar is exactly where it needs to be every single placement is absolutely perfect and spirit is bringing this through here that it is balance or reconciliation look at this this woman is like bathing she's beautiful and look at this man coming up behind hey baby what's going on i'm, I'm coming back <laughs> Lots of transformation. This feminine is stepping into her power. Look at this. We have four cups again. Oh, this is four swords. I'm like, no, I don't have two. Okay. Four swords. So resting, healing, feeling divine feminine energy, and getting over fears. Okay. So I'm not even feeling a lot of karma in this mass in these masculines vibration right now. What I'm getting is that they're recognizing that whatever actions that they took with this, with these karmic situations, that it was brilliant. It was brilliant. It was perfect. It, sh it brought up everything that they needed to do. It helped them get over their fears. Okay. What is there any other at final actions towards the karmic energies? Spirit. Oh, no. Ending cycles. So they can manifest. Remember the man magician came up in reverse. They're, uh, they want their creative, co-creative God force energy returned back to them. Thank you. Aho. Blessed be that these masculines are like, I want, I was created 
as the father energy to be brought down into this planet and i'm gonna friggin own that i'm gonna own that power that is my power that is what the the card of raw came out remember guys i'm gonna pull out those cards again we have helios anger thor action right we had poseidon flowing oh my god and of course i can't get the last one right where is the well, I don't know what I did with it because I just threw it. But remember, we had the, the sun god raw, right? So there's definitely um, things that are happening here. And oh, look at this. It's right here. Okay, raw, right? This came out. Um, and that's what I'm getting downloaded with right now is like, that's the that's the masculine. Uh, and of course, <laughs> all my cards are falling all over the place. Oh, dear God. Why are you doing this to me? Okay. So I'll pick that up later. But yeah, this is the, the masculine energy saying, I want this creative force energy. And look at this. I find this very fascinating that this shaman is wearing like, I almost feel like these horns. If you guys see this, like this, the feathers of the eagle. And look at the horns here, right? It's like the feathers of the eagle. It's He's wearing a jaguar, but it's like he knows, has everything that he has to manifest. I feel like these energies are very similar, although they're two different decks. But it's like, I had to bring that out because it's like, I'm claiming this in the midst of the darkness. I'm owning my creator force energy and i'm i'm owning the power so this mass these masculines are very much stepping into their power and ending cycles okay we have towards the karmic energy we have earth pulsing and seeing the context so they're actually able to see the details of everything of why it needed to happen they're getting off the path look at this divine feminine energy they're not actioning anything right right now because they're still fine tuning things okay that's what the details are here um they're they're healing they're resting they're uh slowing down they're taking time in nature they're gathering their strength uh but i feel towards the karmic energy look at this divine masculine in reverse so they're not masculine uh a acting on anything um i wanted to ask something what was that spirit? Sorry, the energy is like a freaking potent, let me tell you. Um, what else? About, oh, yeah. What else about the details? What final details towards the karmic energy to finalize spirit? I feel it might be home life. It's just ending off a relationship that was causing a lot of injustice, um, causing missed opportunities of their true happiness. So they're just fine tuning things. I feel a lot of these masculines have ended something um yeah let's take a look at their life path here cards so let's see towards karmic energy spirit this is what's happening towards karmic energies divine masculine towards karmic and then we'll take a look at the, towards divine feminine and that will be the energy updates for divine masculine i feel tomorrow um i'm not sure what's going to come through tomorrow you guys know i just yeah, channel so i feel it's going to be more focused towards feminine as we're moving um the saturn and jupiter uh, uh, thing that's happening in the eclipse and all of this stuff that's happening for the 21st we have a uh, the, the winter solstice that's coming um so all of these really potent energies of uh that's happening um i feel it's going to be um for feminines and holding again that soft nurturing place within okay all right Phew. let's see we're gonna take a look at the bottom first for divine masculine towards the karmic a lot of self-discipline guys which is activating creator force energy it's a three five lots of changes self-love spirituality seven seven karmic completion can't make this up a 10 personal growth using their intuition i can't even look at this leadership being in nature all right so let's take a look at what actually pops out. That's the bottom of the deck. What is going on with divine masculines towards the karmic energy spirit? Thank you. My channel has been so clear too. And I can't tell you, like, I'm still getting like darker forces trying to get at me through different things. Like, um, someone was like trying to date me, like come back from like before. And I'm like, no, like why? And I thought about it. I'm like, uh, and I'm like, no, like, so uh, feminines, if you're getting tested, you're getting tested for a reason because you have to stay so focused on knowing that you want your union. You have to claim it. You have to claim it. And I finally said, that's it. I'm done. I want who God made me for it. I don't care what injustice, the injustice is done to our union and not anybody else. That's just how it is. So 
That's what, that's how it is. When you get called, you get called, right? What is going on with masculine energy towards karmic energies, please? Oh! Okay. I'm not going to take the ones that fell. There's too many. Look at this. We have nature again and leadership popping out. So I can't make that up. <laughs> can't make that up. Total synchronicity. Let's take a look. What other energies are playing towards karmic energy? Divine masculine towards karmic. Whoa. All right. New beginnings, guys. All right. Love partnership, moderation, communication, okay? They're having a new beginning. They're ending things. They're taking the lead in this. Uh, they're communicating what they want. It's a, about a love partnership. Clarify the love partnership. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Music, personal growth, intuition came up again. Karmic completion, okay? So they're completing the love partnership. Their intuition is guiding them, personal growth. And the music is pulling them wherever, wherever they need to go. All right. So I feel it's done, guys. So it's done. Done, done, done. Now, when karmic energies end, okay, you have to recognize that the darkness will try to pull you back in through dream state. Dream state is what I'm getting through uh, other communication, through other p unconscious people. Like, for instance, like the, this ex that I dated trying to, you know, get up all back up on my energy. It's like, no, yeah, it, you got to be very aware of what's happening. Okay. All right. Um, and just stay in your lane, stay in your lane, stay in your lane, focus, be clear. Okay, let's take a look. What time are we at? Oh, yeah, let's do towards uh, feminine energies. And then that will be it for today. All right, guys. Whew, what a good read. Wow. Let's see what is going on with divine masculine towards the feminine energy right now. Spirit. I'm just going to bring this down a little bit. Whew. All right. All right. Let's see what is going on with divine masculine toward the divine feminine. I feel they're very connected inside you guys. They're really feeling the energies that are happening within. Okay. Very much an inside job that these masculines are working on themselves. What is going on with the divine masculine towards divine feminine in the mind space? Thank you. We have two. Look at this. Jump in. <laughs> jump, jump. My daddy, no, no. Jump, jump. I don't know why that sounds coming in. Okay. Androgynous energy, adventure, say yes to change. Beautiful. We also have forge ahead. Don't follow other people. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's like being the leader, right? Masculine energies are forging the way forward. That's what they do. Pave a new path. Be the leader you wish you had. And what did we get in those cards, you guys? Leadership, communication, being in nature. It's all the same thing. Being in nature, new beginnings, karmic completion, a new love partnership, personal growth. Yeah, so it's really beautiful. What is going on in the heart space towards feminine energy? Thank you, spirit. We have the golden children. I love this. This reminds me of like I had a vision when I was a little kid of all of these like light beings coming to a mountain with like, and it's a beautiful lush, like it's like the children of the earth. Like, I don't know where this vision came from, but it was like, since I was little and I was just like so fascinated with it. And it's like all these, like, this is what this card reminds me of, but there's no mountain here, but it was like lush grass and greenery and a waterfall. And, and I saw that all these people are going to be called. And these are the twin flames being called to this portal inner child tenderness innocence rare gifts so these masculines are recognizing they have very rare gifts on the inside that all of their sensitivity that they thought was you know a burden that they're recognizing how gifted they really are and that this world does not support them right wow what is and that's they're feeling that in the heart towards the divine feminine they're becoming illuminate look at the sun the raw energy is here, you know, and shining a light. They're, they're having a deep recognition. What is the action here towards Divine Feminine? We have cracked open, baby, rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. <sighs> they are feeling the feminine's hardcore, you guys. They are, they are recognizing that they've hit the bottom of the bottom of where they've been. 
and you can only go up from the bottom, right? You can't go anywhere else. So this is awesome. Surrendering to the alchemy of life. What is the outcome towards divine feminine and masculines are desiring? We got two. Small steps, guys. There's another portal. Look how many portals we've had, right? Even in the first, in the first, uh, uh, towards the karmic that they've been called, right? Baby steps. Action following intuition before it makes sense. And this is the divine feminine energy. And I know this is a hard one for a lot of people in masculine energy is trusting the unknown before anything else. Um, feminines like myself, like I, that's how I've lived my whole life. I don't make logical sense to a lot of people, but <laughs> that's just how I am. And it's never, fa it's never failed me, you know, but these masculines have a really difficult time. And look, this is beautiful because it's like all these people are following. So when the masculine steps through this with the fem feminine, it's calling up all the other twins. Okay. We have here, big, look at another portal. I've never seen this one. Oh my God, I love this card. Big picture thinking, Pleiades energy, visionary, inspired ideas. These masculines are getting downloaded with their feminine of how much they can actually create. Like there's such a vast amount of like creative force energy running through these masculines. They're like, oh my God, anything is possible with this energy. Anything is possible. This is like amazing creative force energy. We have another portal. We had a lot of doorways. I don't even think this deck has a lot of doorways, to be honest. There's another doorway. There's the called one again. Okay, so see, there's pyramids. There's another doorway. Maybe there is doorways, but I, I haven't seen many. There's another one there. So lots coming up in this reading, though. So take it for what it's worth. There are a lot of doors opening with Divine Masculine towards the feminine and on the calling in general. Let's see how that is being grounded. Whew. And we're going to see what else is holding them back in their dark energy. I just recognize I have those cards still there in spirit. It's like we're going to just pull that a little bit to just see where, because they're still finalizing things in the karmic energy. So we're going to see what's going on towards feminine and what's actually holding them back so how is this grounding in the earth spirit masculine energy how is this grounding in with the feminine energy you thank you you're gonna hear my medicine woman little things coming out now it's like we're planning for our retreat and i'm like ah, and i'm talking to my shaman like almost every day and we're like oh this sounds good and we're both like yip, 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 yip. <laughs> oh i love her so much okay let's take a look what is going on here we go, stretch. This masculine has been stretched by the divine feminine's energy to jump in, to take the risk, to, you know, forge forward, to be a leader in this world, you know, to hear the call, right? They're, they're grounding this into the earth now. Look at all these roots that are coming up. It's like she's like a tree, you know, it's like this rooting on rooting on taking out all the old roots and being stretched and planting new seeds here what's going on what's grounding in the heart space for masculine towards feminine the golden children balance again these masculines are really balancing so really finding that yin yang balance within you know and um and i can honestly say this like in my own connection what i'm feeling like we're not in communication but i feel i'm like there was always this wavering back and forth oh my god the wavering drove me nuts um, but it was my wavering as well too. But until again, we have to solidify, solidify, get it. It's like, no, I know this. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it because we have to go and live from within first. And so this balancing masculines are really holding that place towards feminines. Okay. Action towards feminines being cracked open, hitting rock bottom, surrendering. They're feeling it. Look at this in the core. Holding that pillar deep within, knowing deep inside that this is what they're supposed to be doing. Okay, we have the outcome, big picture and baby steps. They're going slow, which is fine, guys. You know, this is uh, this path is not to be forced. This path is to be, you know, taken uh, with deep respect. This is sacred union. This is the hero's gamos. This is like what people are like uh, that's been hidden from humanity you know this is ancient stuff this is christ consciousness and mary magdalene stuff you know gaining the perception that this seeing the big picture and taking the small steps towards it look this masculine this is like i feel this may look like a feminine but i feel it's a masculine with this third eye activation happening it's like yes i got this my perception has completely changed i'm seeing the bigger picture i know i have to walk through this door we're gonna we're gonna go slow okay <sighs> Oh, 
Let's take a look at the Life Path number card, the numerology deck here, you guys. Oh my god, my cards are so old. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get like a whole bunch of new ones I'm, which is fine like it's fun I have some new ones that are supposed to come but it looks like they're not coming till Christmas now like I don't know Canada and this COVID laws here I can't you guys I need to get the hell out of Canada <laughs> I need to like move to Mexico basically All right what is going on here what is happening for divine masculine towards the divine feminine spirit let's take a look at the bottom all right taking action physical activity going on an adventure changing their relationship status healing look at this self-discipline again having compassion that's the kuan yin change and karmic completion look at this love partnership again synchronicities love i can't make this up surrendering okay i mean let's see what comes out because i know people are like well you know you're just pulling they can make interpret that as anything but not here on my channel guys magic happens here <laughs> magic all right spirit show us your magic please <laughs> teaching and learning financial discipline all right let's see what's going on here masculine energy towards the feminine phew what is going on with masculine towards the feminine spirit Ooh. all right we have parenting that's like taking care of themselves no matter what all right individuality spiritual partnership look at this follow your dreams it's basically like the love partnership we have new beginnings again new beginnings health and surrendering okay so we have like a 10 which is a completion surrendering everything okay we have health we have new beginnings, individuality, parenting, following your dreams, and a spiritual partnership. Okay, let's clarify a little bit more. Let's see how these masculines, I'm going to put these on the bottom so I can see what I'm reading. I shall put those back after. Let's take a look at what's going on. We're going to clarify a little bit and we're going to pull, yeah, this is masculine energy towards the feminine place spirit. Masculine energy towards the feminine. Thank you. What is going on with masculine energy towards the feminine? Thank you, spirit. Okay. So we're going to clarify a little bit here. Okay, before we do that, spirit wants me to pull up the dark energies. We're just going to see. I feel like I don't really need to do the headspace. They've been stretched. They know they have to jump in. Just give me a sec. Let me see where spirit's pulling me. They want me to really look at this. We know that they're balancing already and that they're they're nurturing their inner child and their tenderness and their innocence and their gifts. Spirit wants me to get into this core stuff where they're being cracked open. That's where I'm getting pulled. And here in the perception. This is where I feel the, dark, the darker energies are still trying to, like they're trying to finalize and step deeper into their calling and their knowing. Let's see here. And that's like the fine details that I was getting, like what they're, what they're dealing with the karmic energies and having to stand really strong in themselves and um yeah clearing up just fine detailed stuff is what i'm getting so what is this cracked open in this core masculine towards the feminine what are the darker energies that are happening here <sighs> forgetting himself so he's this masculine is starting to remember who he really is as a soul not as a human right it's not who we created in this earth plane of who we are it's not our personality either like um people think like oh like i like this and i like that it's like well that's just the energy and how it expresses itself when we fully come into a place it's like god force uh expresses through us like so like when i channel it's it's like you as a bigger being but like there's a little piece of your ego that's a personality and a lot of masculines were stuck in that little piece of that personality and that's not who they really are they forgot themselves but this cracking open in this core this is actually really beautiful that they're coming into a full it's not full illumination yet see these are the details this is where we're going to clarify the tarot but this is where they're actually coming into a, a more full and um illumination and here we have like perception and baby steps what is this there with dark energy here they're going slow their perception has changed i'm not even sure if one's going to come out to be honest no we'll try one more time is there anything here spare for perception oh oh one came out all right atonement look at this 
this is, you know, they've taken all these swords in their back, full coming into a full illumination again, realizing that everything that they've gone through in their life, every hardship, everything in the karmic situation, every single thing from trauma, be whatever they've gone through in their life, they've taken these swords in their back, they're still standing, and this was their medicine. They know how to heal this now. Their perception has changed and they understand that they were tested and broken and getting ready for this path so that they could lead other people. All right. So let's clarify here about towards the feminine. They forgot who they were, you know, but they're remembering now. Yeah. See, they were blocked. They were blocked. Page of swords in reverse and emotional imbalance. They were emotionally imbalanced. Uh, they got cracked open. They are opening up to this now. Okay. Nine of wands in reverse. Uh, they're persevering, opening up yeah, for a reunion, three of cups. Okay. Friendship, starting off as friends, starting slow, right? For this new love. Look at this beautiful opening up to this, opening up to a reunion, opening up to, you know, where they've been blocked, where they've been blocked spirit. They're remembering who they are. So they know like whatever they were in these karmic situations was not who they were. They, it was like a constant battlefield uh, is what I'm getting. We have here, their heart was, you know, nothing. Uh, this is an ignite uh, was halted you know it's almost like uh this energy with the feminines it's like something is like getting lit up again it's like ding ding it's like uh -uh, like a, a pulse so their heart they're open to it they know that they uh it hasn't taken off yet this knight of swords here yeah they're closed off still so this is the final detail stuff again that i'm getting where they've been blocked they're just remembering themselves so it's it's almost close to a full illumination you guys okay that's what I'm getting here. See, almost to a full illumination. This is also a masculine energy that's there. So let's see this atonement and this perception here. Their perceptions have changed. They've gone through the ringer. They know that they have to go slow. Okay. They want to return to the past towards divine feminine energy. They're opening up. Okay. We have, it's their wish. Okay. They know that they, they wished for this. Not quite the Ten of Cups yet. That Ten of Cups comes when union happens and then you start to rediscover each other. This is in a friendship, right? This is this can't start as, as uh, people think like, oh, I'm going to meet my twin. It's going to be like all possible. We have to get out of that dream world, you guys. Get out of the dream world and the fantasy stuff. That's where the dark energies attack you. Be very clear. Masculine energy, feminine energy. If you are balancing yourself on the inside, high intelligence, knowing your discernment, being very clear and focused, right? Not getting all in the wish it like and I trust me I know I'm a wishy wa like I'm like ah la, 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 la. but I'm also very clear I'm very decisive um, because I have a Gemini rising but um, I mean I have a Pisces Venus okay so figure that out so it's like I love so deep but it's like you have to they're coming out of this pain and the burdens and so coming into this it's going to be more of a material basis first to figure how things are happening okay yeah rising look at this not rising for the karmic rising for divine feminine a beautiful oh oh new beginnings surrender health they know their health has been affected but they want to be healthy here right nurturing themselves following dream spiritual partnership spirit is saying i'm going to pull a few more of these of what's happening with their chakras we have a lot of reds here that are happening self-esteem grounded uh sacral a little orangey uh, self-esteem here with the with the solar plexus energy crown chakra right um a little bit of throat throat chakra happening here but this is like grounded sacral energy as well okay lot of this is more red here the 11 individuality right knowing themselves grounding that Let's see what other chakra ones come up. And this is towards Divine Feminine. And that will be the reading, guys. So don't miss out tomorrow. Jupiter and Saturn, right? All right. What's going on with Divine Masculine? Towards Feminine and their path forward spirit. That passion. What did I say? Look at that. That sacral, right? That sacral, that passion, forgiveness, crown chakra, energy, purple, Look at all this orange, guys. Woo, these masculines are like, baby, I'm coming for you. <laughs> service, wanting to be of service, okay? 
feeling the joy of finally loving themselves. Look at this. Parenting themselves is also a nine. Close to ending cycles. So they're cleaning up some stuff. Joyful. Happiness. The sunflower, which is raw. You know, raw energy again. Beautiful. Forgiveness with this spiritual partnership, which is also a nine. We've got nines, guys. Nine, nine, ten, eight. Okay, so progression here. One. One, 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 individuality, new beginnings. Look at this, like sacred numbers, numbers coming out here, you guys. Eight, okay, what is eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, which is a four. Guys, I am so, I can't do mental. I can do calculus, okay? I can't give change. Figure that one out, like freak my life, okay? Details are so hard for me, oh God. I'm too way up there. But yeah, I can do calculus and algebra geometry, like frig, I, I don't know. Uh, passion, uh, service, forgive <laughs> So yeah, this is really beautiful, really beautiful energies, you guys. All right, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys have been feeling the same things. That's your reading. Don't forget tomorrow, I'm going to be doing the Saturn and the Jupiter stuff uh, reading, and I think it's going to be geared towards more divine feminine. If you want to come to an ayahuasca retreat, really work with pure energy, okay? The shaman that I work with, I'm telling you guys, I've done ayahuasca other places, I will never do it unless with this woman. She she's also a twin flame. We uh, we have magic between us, okay? <laughs> we have we have magic between us. And so if you are called for medicine, hit me up. So much love. Take a look down below. Everything is down below. I'm running a special if you guys want to do a reading forecast for your 2021. Let me know. So much love. Bye guys.